Okay, so for clouds, we decided we're gonna make clouds as a snack, and it's just the easiest thing, just with the uh, yogurt. So I got plain yogurt or vanilla yogurt, and uh, I put food coloring on the first one to make cumulonimbus clouds. So, and the kids were able to do this by themselves. I had to point out where to put it and everything, but they were able to just get the spoons and just make clouds on the plate. So first. We made a big cumulonimbus cloud, and it's kind of hard to tell here in the video, but it does have a color. It's not completely white. It's kind of grayish. Put food color in it, coloring in it. So it's cumulonimbus. I had met. I started making the stratus before I started making the video, but you, the kids were making just lines, just kind of wispy lines for the cirrus. Then for stratus, we put a little doll up there and then kind of made it flat to represent how it just kind of covers the whole sky in a gray day. Stratocumulus, we made the little lines, you know, they cover the sky too, but they kind of have little lines on the sky. So we made the lines. And then for cumulus, it was the easiest thing, we just make a dollop of yogurt. And then they can have their clouds in a plate, and then they can. We, I'm gonna put berries on, and they can eat it. So here they're waiting. Did you guys make those clouds by yourselves? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Point where's the cumulonimbus? <gasps> oh, that's the biggest one. Let's see where's Cirrus at the top. See, remember the little ones? Yep. Where's the Stratus? Way at the bottom. Remember, they're kind of flat, and yep, they cover the sky. Stratocumulus, the little lines, and then what are the puffy ones? Q, what are they called? Cum Cum cumulus, <laughs> cumulus. Yes, good job, good job, guys. We're gonna, I'm gonna get you berries before you can eat it. Okay, that'll be yummy. So that's our clouds on a plate. <laughs>